Hello friends, in my this video, I am going to discuss another lead code problem and the problem is complex number multiplication. Simple mathematical question, we know the algorithm, just we need to implement in uh, our favorable language that may be Java, C, C++, Python, whatever, but the algorithm will be same. Given two string representing two complex numbers, you need to return a string representing their multiplication. Note i square or j square equal to minus 1 according to the definition you know right already you have studied complex number in your mathematics course so suppose for example our this particular input take one is one plus one i another one is one plus one i same output should be two i why because one plus i into one plus i is nothing but one plus i square plus two i i square equal to minus 1 so 1 minus 1 will cancel each other output will be 2y but we have to represent like this format a plus bi format so that output should be 0 plus 2y okay suppose i have minus sign then directly minus sign is not written see how the minus sign is written 1 plus minus 1i that is we can say this is 1 minus 1i but we have to write like this the minus symbol that is along with plus we can give minus directly we cannot give Another one, suppose 1 plus minus 1, I same only, output should be 0 plus minus 2i. Why? Same explanation, you can simply compute and check. The condition is given as the input string will not have extra blank. The input string will be given in the format of a plus bi, where a is integer a and b will both belong to the range minus 100 to 100 and the output should also be in the form a plus bi. That means if b is negative you cannot write directly write like a minus bi you have to write a plus of minus bi like that try to think about how to write the code for this implement that check whether it is giving correct output or not if it is not giving correct output no need to worry here i am explaining simple code c plus jd here i am using j symbol instead of i you can use your own symbol like if you are familiar in programming with matlab you know that we replace the j by one i okay in other language somewhere i is used somewhere j is used like that c plus jd multiplied by e plus jf if you compute the uh, multiplication you will get this one ce minus df plus de plus cf whole into j so what we have to do what we have to do we have to extract c e d f that's all our job will be done so suppose i have these two particular input what i will do i will traverse in my first input and second input i will make all the using all the numbers i will make c first one then d and then e and then f but what we have to uh, keep in mind the sign okay where suppose this is d where d is appearing before that if minus sign is there we have to make d as minus d okay that one we have to keep in mind another thing suppose in the beginning itself minus sign is present then c will be or d will be minus sign that also you have to taken care of okay so c d e f signs has to be taken care of simply you can do using if else condition only so here is my code let me show you here um yeah so the code is quite simple class solution public string complex number multiply string a string b so our function name is complex number multiply and we are taking two input a and b then c d e f define as zero okay temp equal to zero i am variable taking later i will tell you the usage start and end these particular two characters will store the signs of c d e f okay so first string i am traversing start equal to a dot carrot zero now I will check whether the first character is minus or not. If the first character is minus, that means C will be minus. As a result, what will happen? I need to traverse from A dot caret 1. That is second character of string A I will start traversing because first character is minus sign. So that I have written at the code for int i equal to 1 i less than a dot length i plus plus okay if a dot caret i greater than equal to 48 and and a dot caret i less than equal to 57 that means that is a number between 0 to 9 and and temp equal to 0 the temp variable i am taking to just check whether it is c or d okay if temp equal to 0 that means that is beginning i will store in c c equal to 10 star c plus in a dot caret i minus 48 else if that is a digit but temp not equal to 0 
so when 10 will be incremented when we will get apart from 0 to 9 anything apart from 0 to 9 that code i have written later so see if 10 not equal to 0 and we are getting any digit that means that is indicating basically suppose c plus j d that d it is indicating so that i am i will store that in d okay else if a dot caret i equal to equal to plus or a dot caret i equal to equal to minus that means if plus or minus in in countering then we will uh, put that in end so as a result after the whole traversal of the string in the end variable the sign of the imaginary part will be stored and then 10 plus plus because we are getting something which is not 0 to 9 else also 10 plus plus because something we are getting not from 0 to 9 so this is the way how we can easily get the cd coefficients only otherwise another possibility is if start or the a plus j b whatever is there if the first one is not a minus sign here we have computed for minus sign but suppose if, if it is not a minus sign then we have to tra traverse from the beginning and same code i have written you can check here okay then if start equal to equal to minus that means c equal to minus c as i have told you for minus sign we have to take care of if end equal to equal to minus then d equal to minus d then perform the same thing for the other string b temp equal to 0 start equal to b dot caret 0 end equal to 1 space then start if start equal to minus then traverse from 1 or second character of b string then follow the same rule and else that means if that is if the start is not a character uh, minus character then we have to traverse from the beginning so for int i equal to 0 i less than b dot length i plus plus and follow the same algorithm and after that again here we are giving the sign if start equal to equal to minus e equal to minus e if end equal to equal to minus f equal to minus f i am printing here no need to print this particular part so return c into e minus d into f plus one plus sign plus d into e plus c into f plus i the same format whatever we have seen in this particular algorithm okay c e minus d f plus d e plus c f into d that's all simple codes okay so let me compile that let me just remove this system dot out dot print and part let me submit this and show you the acceptance status okay so here you can see